Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I primed yesterday. I don't think I need, I don't think it was that important. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my spatulas, one of my three large spatulas actually. I'm going to try and do what seems to me to be a more dominant than not dominant black and white because I'm going to use a bunch of Chantilly lace but I'm also thinking about putting the um, Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red and Alizarin Rose along with some Rhapsody Rose which is a primary element. Anyway so I've got to figure out how to start <laughs> and I really want to start from the middle but I can't really do that and I'm, going to, I'm using some some Amsterdam Black And I'm not going to cover my canvas. I'm going to leave a trail and I'm going to hopefully do it twice. And I've got a huge thing hanging off my... That's not helpful. Come here thing. Okay. Free it from my tweezers and go for it. Just going to move that a little bit. I want more. I don't have a choice. I need more. I think I need more. Let's make that clear. I'm not 100% on this. I might... <laughs> yeah. Let's just let it flow down toward the place that I'm going to put the Chantilly lace on. And that's probably a good thing, because I just noticed that there's something huge in there. And now we have it out. Part of me wants to put some gold in here too. Really tempting. I think, I think I'm going to go for the widest one. And I want it on the right hand side without any paint chips on my blade, please. A really substantial amount. I'm probably going to put a little more Chantilly lace right on top of that black. And that's the first I've done of that. I see that there's fuzz in my painting. Okay, let's let's just go for it. I am going to grab another scrape dish and maybe I will pour some paint off into it because it seems like the way to go. Yep, I'm really liking this. Makes me think maybe I should do the whole thing that way. I'm wondering about true silver. All right, that's gorgeous. And I don't even mind the stuff up at the top, but I am gonna take the rest of this. Residue. Hopefully I wasn't blocking your vision. I've still got more paint coming off. Which is okay with me. Because that's more paint that I can put on the other side.
I like moving paint from one place to another. A more obvious statement there probably never has been. There, it's interesting and weird and cool all at the same time. And I'm tempted to just pull that right down. Very gently. Now, I want to go up from the other direction. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's wipe off that spatula just because. I'm going to put my Amsterdam Black, and it's got uh, Floetrol and GAC 800 in it. This is making me, oh, I'm going to use my Frosted Berry. Sands the lump, the long lump. And maybe I should just stick to the Rhapsody Rose. I kind of want to grab an edge catcher and move that to the edge, but I suspect this is the Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red. And this is my favorite, one of many, <laughs> a Lizarin Rose. And I think I can squish that into place pretty well. Let's get my extra paint out of the way. No, no problem with the dribbles. Maybe dump some more paint off. I love that. That's awesome. Maybe instead of dumping it off, we'll drag it over. I might want to put something on the other side, especially since I see there's a little bit of drag there. I could do the same exact thing, or I could just do more black and white, which might be really cool. I'm going to grab my straw. That, that sells up really nicely when you blow into it. Just going to use the paint that came down over the edge. I'm really tempted to do this again, but I kind of want to do what I was talking about. I hope that I can. going to go way less because I have much less span to cover. And if I use the smaller spatula, it's barely going to do it. So I'm going to stick with the large one. I am going to take off my residuals though. And wipe it off. Not that I would really mind any having any pink in there, but 
can always do something else after. It's a small possibility I may regret not having chosen to do the Rhapsody Rose side. Oh, I put that on the wrong side. Now I've got residuals still. I think I'm going to like this. I want to take them off. And I think I'm going to just... Yeah, I've got quite a bit of paint. I want to leave some of that black negative space intact. I need a little bit more of something something here. What am I going to do about that? I'm going to use a Princeton Artful Catalyst Special. If they're on my Amazon link, my Amazon link is below Show More. On the link tree. But you can also find a couple of websites. The Gallerist Society 6. You should look for the 20% off color or coupon code, honestly. Um, this white is kind of weird. I kind of want to tip it, but I like it the way it is, too. I think I'll tip it anyway. I wouldn't mind having a little bit more of the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cells in there. And this is moving, but that's okay. I'm going to blow into that as well. So that's not a bad. I'm going to just try and lead that a little bit. Small adjustments. The only reason I did that is because I've got a spot different black than the black that's on the ba background of the canvas and it's going to show up. So I'm camouflaging it by adding some of that paint. And I don't think it's hurting anything. I'm wondering about adding a little bit more Chantilly lace somewhere or anywhere. There, that doesn't bother me. I kind of want some here. Hoping I didn't just drag the bottle through, but I did. And I think I have a tissue. Or a Q-tip. I want to bring that right over there. I think I'm going to fill in because I've got marks. Not okay once the paint is set up, but probably a little finger painting isn't going to hurt anything. Well, the paint is really super moist. That 
being said. I'm going to add a little more. hope it levels out. Okay, the only thing left that I want to do is right here. up all my time and that's okay. Please share my videos if you're of a mind to. I appreciate it very much. And uh, the thumbs up is appreciated. Your comments are appreciated. Thank you so much. No, I don't want any black in there. Don't mind a little outline. I hope you come again. I post at 3.15 right now, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I made a mistake. I'm going to have to fix it. I think that's pretty cool. I kind of want some alizarin rose. If I can have it. I thought I could catch that drip and I was wrong. So now it's got an eye, whatever it is. You could just as easily use a paint bald skewer to lead paint, but I'm kind of liking what I've got. So if you start, start short of where you want your line to go, that means you can lead the organic, can lead it along. And that dot has got to go. So Q-tips, remember Q-tips, because they are handy. I think I like the second set of cells better than the first, but I'm still pretty happy. It's, uh, it's virtually monochromatic. And I love playing with lacing. And I am going to share that, that at you. And I wonder if there's a better way up. Yeah, I think I like that way better. I like that way better best still. So my camera is dying. Looks like my battery's almost done. And my time is almost up as well, so. I'll see you guys in on. I hope you stop by. Remember, questions are welcome and encouraged. I have 31 playlists with 100 videos on them each, and if you ask me, I can give you one. But mostly they're organized by topic and genre, so ask me for something that you like topic-wise, and I can give you a playlist. Uh, my email address is EASPB, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. This is kind of subtle and kind of sublime, too. I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Springfield, Florida. On my link tree, you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. Um, I said questions are welcome. My community board will show you what tomorrow's video is. My Amazon link has my two books on it. They are the first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube about paint pouring, and they're called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And there's all kinds of really great stuff on my Amazon link, starting with that OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. I kind of wish I had put some gold in, but right now I'm pretty happy. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. My paint 